Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. So I got this dirty little freak at the grocery store. Not this, not Madison, the beer. Dirty <laughs> little freak. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. So I've had a few other things from Bell's, I mean not Bell's, um, Dewclaw, and uh, I saw this one, and the name was the first thing that attracted me, I admit. But then reading about it, it sounds very good. This is Duclaw's Dirty Little Freak. And this is a, I believe, coconut caramel chocolate brown ale. Is that what they call it? Oh yeah, I believe they call it a coconut caramel chocolate brown ale. So, I'm a fan of brown ales. If I had to pick a single, I don't know, I, I've had a lot of good stouts lately, too. Pours brown. Pouring this in an unrefrigerated, uh, just pint glass. This one's from Raleigh Brewing. Or, uh, Ra uh, yeah, Raleigh Brewing. Which was a cool brewery when we were up in Raleigh. Oh, that smells good. It smells kind of like Death by Coconut. But that is, I believe, a uh, coconut porter. First sip. This beer has that same Dewclaw taste. There's a, there's something that either they do or they use or something that has a unique taste with their beers. I tasted this in the um, in the uh, Sweet Baby Jesus, which is chocolate peanut butter stout or porter. It's pretty low alcohol, 5.8% alcohol. And a 30 um, IBU. I would say 30 is pretty accurate. It's not, it's not sweet, but it's definitely not bitter. It's more on the sweet side than bitter. And it's got a great coconut flavor. It's got a great toasted coconut flavor. They actually use real toasted coconut um, in the in in the batch when they when they make this. Dirty Little Freak was also Duclaw's um, first seasonal beer to go to the regular lineup to make it you know to be in the regular rotation. This is pretty good, but it, it, there is that still tasting that one weird little thing that that I've noticed in a couple of Duclaw beers. And, it, and it's, maybe it's some sort of hops. I should look up the hop profile of this beer and the hop profile of, um, of Sweet Baby Jesus and see if it's the same. The hop bill, I should say. Which is the recipe of basically what what kinds of hops they they use. So I wonder what the whole bill is called. You could have a malt bill and a hop bill. I wonder what the whole recipe together is called. I'll ask Ken, he'll know. So it's a cool it's a cool bottle. Purple and black and gray. See it's pretty cool. On the side it says there is no safe word. I believe this was uh, $9.99 a six pack, which is a, which I think is a, uh, I think it's a fair price for this beer. It's a lot like Death by Coconut, but not as good. It doesn't finish as clean. It's not as robust of a flavor. It's still good though. I, th I think it's also cheaper than Death by Coconut. So if you're looking at the value, it might not be bad. Death by Coconut's really good. <clears throat> um, I just got some 1050 from Oscar Blues. I'm looking looking forward to uh, reviewing that one. That'll be coming up pretty pretty shortly. I think I'm going to review that with 
Uh, I had another stout in there I was going to review with it. But I have a couple brown ales coming up. And I, I'm going to do a three-part series from Abita. This is good. Still a nice, clean coconut smell through the whole thing. There's definitely coconut there, but it's not overpowering. It's pretty good. Overall, I would give this beer a... I'm going to go 3.75. It's pretty solid. And until next time, cheers.